Well, you lose the Mars as well. A disaster of a fight here from Infamous as Pepita surrounded by the entire Thunder Predator lineup. A nice Walrus Punch. He pops the Rage, trying to get away. Has a uh, phase boots in a couple of seconds, but they have a Storm Hammer. What can you do? They're going to be able to hold you down. Another kill going the way of Lewis. All the God Trades as well. You trade for the test, but it ends up being a six for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. Uh, unless you're a Thunder Predator fan, my god, was that clean. Pepita, very questionable. Ravage is the uh, trying to disengage there. You know, he started that team fight out so well. He hugged the wall over here, forcing the Pango roll to push him up the cliff and uh, survive because of that. Then hits only one hero with that Ravage on the back line. It did absolutely nothing there. Yeah. And Thunder Predator, they're just going to play aggressive now. Matthew has had such a great game on this Tusk already. He's he, he had that beautiful save here in the mid lane on that Queen of Pain, right? Just snowballing her to the outside of the arena, keeping her alive. And then a second snowball protecting Sven from the Ravage so they can just reinitiate. And he targeted the Enchantress on top of it. So he just gets her right on top of him, pops that tag Radiant's team, and just boom. Instead of uh, having a potential fight from Infamous, it's just Thunder Predator walking over you. Top lane, they're gonna catch that tiny. <laughs> Woo! Matthew with the walrus punch. Matthew, uh, yeah, they're just gonna take this tier two tower. Once they're set up here, they have no ravage available. It's gonna. All right, never mind. They do have the fortify, so they uh, they're able to back up. Pepita, he's almost got his lad stun. Is that the recipe flying towards a bit? Is. So that's one thing that they've managed to finish before this next team fight, but uh, Thunder Predator, they just feel so in control of this game. Uh, and I think like some of the solutions that they need are gonna come online too slow. This is Battle Fury on Lifestealer? No. Oh, okay, Pacas is uh, rewriting the playbook here. This is actually an older, there was like a moment when Battle Fury Lifestealer was pretty good, um, but this is, I don't think that time. He's just role-playing as a spend, it would appear. I see. <laughs> God strength, tag team, the lucky <laughs> shot, everything for Roshan. Very easy. I'm just right now blown away by uh, this Lifestealer's build. I don't think this is good. That's just me. I think you want fast attack speed on Lifesteal. I think Battle Fury is probably the opposite of uh, how you want to play, but it looks like he wants to take late game against the Sven. Or something? I, question mark? I mean, technically, super late game does favor the life stealer, but you're about to get uh, in a lot of trouble here. He's gonna be able to pop that walrus punch in three seconds. They can get on top of him. The rolling thunder 